Hello everyone, and this is Bird Productions with the rant on Upload Society. In the seven years I've uploaded videos on the internet, never have I ranted on something that I barely heard of and don't really know much about. Before we begin, let me elaborate on what I mean by seven years. In August 2007, I started my account on YouTube under the username EdRay1416. I had some angry rants, music videos, and the infamous Xbox vs. Xbox 360 video. When I elaborated on why I preferred the Xbox original over the 360, I got a lot of hate, but it didn't change how I felt about the 360 and even to this day the Xbox One does not change my opinion on why I love the Xbox original. Then in November 2008, as the commentary community and general drama escalated, I had a new account called AME Wrestling. From there I saw changes from YouTube that I did not like, such as the thumbs up, thumbs down system. That was originality that slowly died and subscription whoring began. Remember life in a tense, thumbs up for epic earthquake? That still boggles the mind of general video uploaders even today. Finally, I had my Bird Productions account, and it was my final YouTube account for the following reasons. Numerous respected YouTubers were getting heavily censored despite the fact that YouTube was clearly violating the DMCA system by allowing users to flag content that does not belong to them be to begin with. Not to mention numerous videos fall under fair use, which I will get to later. What I am about to rant about is requested by KeyWizzle097 about an infamous uploading site called Upload Society. Personally, I do not know much about Upload Society, but judging by the site that is presented, I can spot some problems right off the bat. How does this differ from Zipcast and VStreamers? Where do I begin? First problem is the rating system. Certain videos I see have the classic rating system, which I loved from day one on YouTube. The classic rating system basically is a rating system ranging from one star to five stars. If people flat out hate one video, it deserves one star. If there is uncertainty in another video, the range is two to four stars. If there's love in every effort of the video, it deserves five stars. That was what I loved about the classic rating system. However, there are certain videos that have the infamous thumbs up, thumbs down rating. This was a problem since 2009 for YouTube because it made YouTube partners get easier ratings. Why should Upload Society have both their classic rating and the thumbs up, thumbs down rating? Not only does it create confusion for the image of Upload Society, but it makes the site unappealing to legitimate content creators, including myself. At least Zipcast rating is decent. Second problem, the categories. There are certain categories that are apparently unnecessary, such as celebrity, conspiracy, film, internet, and spiritual. With a spiritual category for the religious folk, where is the science category? Listen, I'm a Christian and I believe, with an all due respect, Upload Society should respect people who have a passion for science, whether the science lovers are Christians or atheists. Yes, scientists can be Christians too, which I will talk about in an educational series at some point in time. Third problem, why does Upload Society have a feature called Upload Photos when the purpose of a video uploading site is videos only? Call me a hypocrite for a point I'm about to make here, but let's look back at a site called WeKnew.net. Back in 2013, an administrator by the name of Allison, who currently owns VStreamers, didn't just feature upload photos, but my favorite feature was upload audio. Why did I love upload audio so much? Because it allowed me to flat out upload audio without having to do editing with a still image just to get the music uploaded on that site. Upload audio was a feature that was never on any other uploading site before, and it amazed me. Back on point. 
Upload photos does not improve the image on any channel on Upload Society. How does uploading videos entertain people? Upload audio makes sense because people can listen to audio rants, music, audio comedy, etc. Fourth, the background of the site and the channels. The owner of Upload Society, by the name of David, thought it was a good idea to have black as the main site background. However, it was the worst concept ever. Why? Because it makes Upload Society look like an adult-oriented website for adult entertainment only. What's worse is the background of the channels. Why did Upload Society do that to their channels? How is anyone going to take a user's profile seriously when the background is blocky? David, do the world a favor and edit the background to a lighter and less depressing color. Fifth, Upload Society is full of spammers, trolls, and money whores that want to lure people that want to get away from YouTube. David and another person named Devilish Troll are known for spamming numerous pages on the site and even go so far as to steal people's identities. That's right, folks. Identity theft. Imagine if a 13-year-old started an account and tried to make good videos, then all of a sudden, their identity gets stolen and the owner, David, does nothing about it. What if that 13-year-old gets in trouble for something he or she didn't do, then the 13-year-old gets immediately blacklisted? That's a scar that could last them for life. Finally, a donation button. That's right, Upload Society is funded by uploaders of the site rather than being privately owned by business-savvy people. Zipcast is doing fine by an owner named Lewis, despite the fact that I closed my account with them to be with vStreamers. YouTube was largely successful because of three founders before they foolishly sold their social networking site to Google, completely ruining the purpose of YouTube. Now, there's vStreamers owned by Allison. I remember a time when vStreamers was just starting and I couldn't open an account up with them until the month of May due to the fact that it was just being tested in the beta stages. It's unclear as to when vStreamers will have a full launch, but while it's still in the beta stages, Allison for the most part has control over the site. Is there a donation button of any kind? Yes. However, the donations are not to fully fund the site, but rather to upload videos longer than 10 minutes and less than 50 minutes. Why is Upload Society being fully funded by the uploaders rather than the administrators? Don't they know how budgeting works? Mindless sheep is more like it. Why would anyone willingly go on PayPal to fund Upload Society when the following things I just mentioned and elaborated are flawed? It makes Upload Society look like YouTube in terms of quality. In other words, Upload Society is a terrible site, and anyone that sees this video and has an Upload Society account should realize that fully funding a site for the benefit of the administrators rather than yourself is downright exploitation. In my opinion, there is only one site currently good for uploading videos, and that is on vStreamers. People, if you think Upload Society is worth going to, think again. There is so much confusion on that site that it makes Zipcast look like 2008 YouTube. None of the commentators would willingly upload videos on that site, and none of the creators of original content like myself would willingly upload videos there either. Think about it as this video wins. If you want to go on there, I cannot stop you. Anyway, this is Berg Productions with, with a rant on Upload Society. Thank you, and have a good day.